welcome back. We are here at Universal. We are heading over to Universal Studios first, then we'll be park hopping over to Islands of Adventure. We're meeting up with some friends, some out of town friends, so rides aren't a priority. So I thought, why not bring the camera and do some vlogging? We're gonna be spending a lot of time in uh, Harry Potter land, so I'm really excited about that. So let's get into it. The weather is pretty nice today, not super hot, not super cold, but it is only 11.30, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm excited, so let's go have some fun. Hopping into Universal Studios first. A lot of new stuff coming to Universal Studios specifically. It's been released that it's going to be coming this summer, I believe. And it is going to be Minions area, Minions land. There's going to be one new ride and one new restaurant as far as I am aware. So we already have Minion, Despicable Me Minions Mayhem on the left here when we first walk in. Then over here to the right is going to be Villain Con. I am so excited for a new ride in general, but we'll see how good this one is. This is where Shrek used to be, so now Villain Con is going to be here. I don't really know, I'm not sure what kind of ride it is. I know Shrek was like a show with seats, so I'm not sure if they changed this a bit or if it's going to be similar. I also love that at the end of each ride, over here we have a sign that says super silly stuff, and here we have a sign that says evil stuff for Villain Con. And we have all of our villains up here, so that's... That's really fun. Then over here is going to be that new restaurant with the cupcake and the minion on top. This is gonna be the new restaurant. Obviously they're still working on it. Someone is working on construction as we speak or painting, I think. But this is gonna be the new restaurant. And I honestly, I believe like little Despicable Me minion area because we've got these like city buildings here that make it seem like it's supposed to be more of an immersive area versus just a restaurant itself. Or maybe the restaurant extends into those. There's some more construction happening over there. Not exactly sure what that is, but the Minions blockade makes me think it's Minions related. It's possible that it's not, but I don't know. We'll see. Up here we can see there's Pop Anana. So I'm assuming that's gonna be popcorn. It really looks like popcorn. That's fun though. And then that's already Transformers over there. So it's gonna kind of end right here. So in case you didn't know, Halloween Horror Nights is also here at Universal Studios, not Islands of Adventure. And it's coming up soon. They're already starting to build the houses and all that. I was passing by this construction area back here and I heard chainsaws and I immediately thought Halloween Horror Nights. Like that was the immediate first thought in my head. So I just thought that was kind of funny um, that I have like built that relation with that. Then we've got the Blues Brothers here in their car. So that's exciting and fun. And in case you were wondering, the Blues Brothers perform right here in front of the Palace Arcade. The mummy's right there. So that's kind of where they're gonna pull up and play. We're gonna sit here and watch the Beat Builders. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
watching only bad part is there's absolutely no shade so you will sweat your butt off for that like three minutes or five minutes show but either way totally worth watching it's really funny they interact with the audience and the songs that they do are just so good and they're all just so skilled so definitely recommend that show I have no idea where we're heading next I've met up with my friends from out of town so I'm just gonna kind of go where they go but I'll definitely show you things along the way of course um, yeah, I think we're heading back to Diagon Alley. So something interesting, we're kind of here in front of Diagon Alley where the night bus is. And something really cool to note is in this somewhat oddly colored building that may look like it had been extended outward, if you know what I mean. In the window there, you can actually see Creature peeking out if he'll do it, maybe. He does it very periodically, but Creature does go. So you know what, I will leave this up to surprise for when you come. So just as a reminder, we're in Diagon Alley, so in Universal Studios, but there is a ton of detail in all of the stores. So like, if you have time, just kind of walk around in the store and just look at all the details, because it's crazy and so pretty. Okay, just got in line. One of us needs to get a wand so we can do all the fun interactions. Um, so we are in line for the Ollivanders line, which I didn't realize there was a wand show in both Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade. So I guess we'll find out if there is like a whole experience or if it's just in Hogsmeade. So you can also get money here. You can go to the bank and they give you money. So essentially you trade in your real money and you get Hogwarts money and you use it the same as your real money. You can buy things around here and I believe you can also use this anywhere in Universal. Oh, the other thing is if you don't spend it all, at the end of the day you can go to guest services and return it for real money again. Okay, that's good. It's good to know. <laughs> and you get the, elf, the elves talk to you or the... Um, Goblins talk to you when you get the money, which is really cool because you can interact with them. This is Jackie, by the way. <laughs> this is Danielle. Hi. This is Melinda. Hi. I don't know anything about the park. <laughs> Look at this room full of wands. Amazing. Welcome to Olivander's, makers of fine wands since 382 BC. Which is your wand arm, left or right? Right. Use unicorn hairs, huge tail feathers, 
heartstrings of dragons. No two Alamander wands are the same, just as no two unicorns, dragons, or phoenixes are quite the same. You will never get such good results with another wizard's wand. Now, only a few particular types of wood are of wand quality. Of course, we use only the finest elements, Tolibandus. I think a poplar wand might do well for you. This one is 13 inches long and yielding with a dragon heart string core. I know. Light the tip of the wand for me. Hold it up nice and high. Say, Lumos. Lumos. <laughs> <laughs> You're a jinx or a cop. <laughs> that is not the one. <laughs> Perhaps an elm wand would be better. Let me see. No. <laughs> Thirteen and a half inches long. Elm and phoenix tail feather. Balanced wand. There's a bell at the top of the stairs. I'd like you to ring it just one time. Concentrate and point your wand. That's it. to Gringotts, so I'll see y'all afterwards. All right, we got off the ride and we ended up getting a beer. Oh, I'm so excited. I got a frozen one. I came, I came by myself. Cross, we're heading over to Hogsmeade in Islands of Adventure. Um, the ride was really fun, the butterbeer was amazing, and now we're ready to go over to the other side. Look at Hedwig and the train. It's the Polar Express! We're here at the Three Broomsticks and we're gonna be eating, but I wanted to tell you guys a quick tip. So I ordered my food. Um, but in the three broomsticks, everyone goes in the same line, whether you've ordered food or not. So right now we're sitting in a line with other people who still have to order their food. And we're not getting seated right away. So at the Leaky Cauldron in Universal Studios in Diagon Alley, there's two separate lines. One for where people have ordered their food and one for people that need to still order food. That way you can just be seated faster. So essentially, go there because you would be seated faster and it has essentially the same but here we have to wait we were just admiring up here and it looks so cool also there's a platter that they're offering so the adult platter is $72 for four but I just ordered a kids lunch and I'll let you know how much it actually is food wise and a water and it was 12 bucks so I feel like if everyone was doing that and got some sides it would still be less than the $73 so just something to keep in mind 
when you're coming here. But anyway, the inside vibe is amazing and awesome. So I was looking this way and there's like food there, but you don't actually order here. It looks like they're seating everyone right away. And I think you order from your table if you didn't do the phone ordering. So when you get seated, you can scan this or tap it or enter it into the app once you say, I'm here to prepare my order, and now it's being processed. But someone before, ooh, I'm sunburned. <laughs> um, someone before us was in line and they said, oh, I'm, they said, do you know your table number? And they said, yeah. They said, okay, go to number three and order your food. So I don't think that you order from a waiter when you sit down. I think you get seated, then they tell you, okay, go get your food or you order on the app and you don't have to get up after you get seated. So I would recommend that if you can. Here is the fish and chips kids menu. It comes with some lemon wedges, grapes, I don't know what that is, um, but this is tartar sauce. It comes with one fish and potato wedges. So you, here's my hand for size reference and you determine whether you think that will be enough food for you. Personally, I think it'll be fine because I don't like to be super like full when I'm at the theme parks. And it was $12 for this and some gilly water. Okay, so we just finished food and it was actually pretty good, honestly. Probably some of the best food that I've had so far at Universal because there isn't really like that great food. Yeah, to the right here. Um, so yeah, I would recommend going there if you like the food that's there. I would do it again. I would go there. Um, so now it's about to downpour. I don't know if you can see the sky behind me, but it is going to downpour. It's already drizzling. So we're gonna try to find something indoors. We were gonna go on Hagrid's, but obviously that's not gonna happen right now. So we're gonna go try to like take some, some coverage and just wait it out because it's starting to rain harder. See how it goes. It's currently 3.58. The wait inside didn't actually take that long, maybe like 10 minutes to get from where I told you we were to getting seated. And the food took maybe about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes to get to us. So we're inside Burger Digs and we're sitting on the balcony area and it is currently pouring. But it's a nice view. So we're just gonna chill here and just snack and until that that does not... I'm glad we came right at this time. <laughs> okay, it's been a second, but my camera's in my bag because it actually started pouring, as you saw. The well, supposed to reopen. So we ran and we were one of the first people on. Then we ran over to Hagrid's, got to ride it twice. Now we're heading back to ride Velocicoaster. Then we're gonna head and walk through the Hogwarts Castle queue because we don't really wanna ride the ride, but we wanna watch the queue because Melinda has never seen it. So we're gonna go do that. Then we're gonna walk out of the park and leave for the night because it's already seven for closes at eight today. I was gonna say, it looks really cool with the dark sky in the back. It kind of matches here. It matches the vibe of Hogsmeade a little bit. We're just gonna go in through the queue. Look how all of you guys are like primary colors, kind of. Oh my God. Or primary color adjacent. Descendium is how you get into the over guys. Potions A tunnel leading to the basilisk. This is where you can get gillyweed, of course. We're giving a little realtor house tour. The kitchen. And then we are entering the herbology green house. Herbology green. I remember waiting in all of this extended queue when this ride first opened and I was a youngling and waited like three hours for this ride. I remember all of this queue. There are the mandrakes all lined up. Now we head back inside. Here's the founder. Here's the house point. And we have this guy. I don't remember who he is, but he's pointing at this window. Then we have the entrance to the headmaster's office. The famous rug of the unicorn. So cool. Then we enter Dumbledore's office. 
His formal office, not his quarters. We got a bunch of really cool knickknacks in here. Oh yeah, the pensive. And there he is in his office. Oh, it's snowing in here. Really cool window grill. Gryffindor common room door. Muggles. So now we're essentially in the Gryffindor common room. We've got a ride vehicle portrait. More ride vehicle portraits. There's the sorting hat. I call himself. Well, we walked back to the car. Um, it, we didn't get to ride Velocicoaster. It shut down right as we had passed security and we were in the final room to get on because of weather. So anyway, we were walking back and um, it was pouring rain. We got soaking wet. Um, Crocs are definitely the way to go. Honestly, I used to hate on Crocs so much. So what I was saying was I used to hate on Crocs so much. I was like so anti-Crocs. Um, and then I got a pair from my brother for my birthday and I have literally been living in them, exchanging Crocs and sneakers at the theme parks. And when I think it's gonna rain, I'll just wear my Crocs because I literally have a problem when my socks get wet. I think still that Crocs are so overpriced for a piece of foam, like it is so expensive, but the amount of use that I have been already getting out of them, I think that it's worth it, especially if you can just wait to get like um, a coupon or find it on sale, then I think it's 100% worth it. Anyway, this day was really, really fun. We're gonna be back, honestly, soon. For this next video, we're gonna probably go look at the Tribute Store because it opened up for Jurassic Park and look, maybe try some new foods at Universal. I have a really, really exciting video coming up that I think a lot of people that I've spoken to could use as useful information, and I'm really excited to make it, but it's gonna take me a little while to make it, so just keep a lookout for that. I'll let you know when it pops up. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with us. Let me know if you wanna see more of Universal, and if so, what do you wanna see more of? Do you wanna see, obviously, rides, you can't film on rides at Universal, but I could show you more really fun hidden secrets from like Harry Potter areas. We could go explore other areas. We could look at shows. Like what do you wanna see from Universal when I do go to Universal? I hope you guys have a wonderful and happy holiday weekend. I hope you're enjoying your Saturday. Join the family and hit the subscribe button if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching. I love y'all. Have a wonderful weekend, magical month, and I'll see y'all in the next one.